It's been an up and down season for the Redbirds, but the Cardinals have a chance to make a run the second part of this month with an easy schedule filled with home games. But first, St. Louis looking to take three out of four on the road against the Mets. Paul Goldschmidt had been hitless this weekend, came in 0 for 10, but he changes that in a hurry. Top first, Goldschmidt with the laser that's deep and way gone for a two run homer. The Cards take a 2 0 lead. The Mets would retake the lead in the third, though. This RBI single makes it 3 2 New York. Dakota Hudson struggled on the mound early in this game, but he'd regroup and keep his team in it. Hudson throws three straight scoreless innings this year. He gets the 4 6. Three double play. It was 3 3 in the eighth and a towering fly ball by Paul DeYoung. The Mets killer finally gets down for a solo homer. The Cards take a 4 3 lead despite having only three hits in the game. Still 4 3 St. Louis in the ninth and Carlos Martinez gets the big double play to end the game. A two inning save for Martinez. The Cardinals take three out of four for the series, finishing 5 and 5 on the 10 game road trip. The Cards are back home tomorrow night to take on the Marlins. And here's the best thing I saw on Sunday. Royals catcher Martin Maldonado got into Father's Day spirit with this awesome clip on Father's Day tie. I've never seen that at a baseball game. It worked for Maldonado with three hits at the plate, including this RBI single in the second. They made it 2-0 Royals. Later in the inning, Whit Merrifield sneaks the ball in past the shortstop. Nicky Lopez scores a three-run second for the Royals. Kansas City adds two more in the seventh. Some great small ball by Billy Hamilton as Lopez slides in safely to make it 4-2 Royals. A big eighth inning, Jorge Bonifacio blasts the ball to left center. It one hops the wall. Chesler Cuthbert easily scores. Back to the man of the game though, Maldonado rips the ball over the left fielder's head. He had two RBI and two runs. This double made it 7-3. The Royals beat the Twins 8-6, a big win because Minnesota has the best record in the majors. Kansas City plays again tomorrow night in Seattle. Mink League Baseball on Father's Day. It's Jefferson City Renegade Dads throwing out the first pitches. Awesome stuff right here. Former South Callaway star Peyton Leeper got the start against the St. Joseph Mustangs and Leeper was dealing early. Some nice movement for the strikeout in the first inning. And look at this. His dad looking on has to be proud of his son. More Leeper. He had the Mustang batters fooled most of the day. Six up, six down to start the game is this beautiful dog right here enjoying the game. Leeper pitched six solid innings. Here's one of his few mistakes though as he serves one up and JP Ty smashes it for the home run. The Renegades lose 2-0 but with many local kids on the team a special day to share with their fathers. It means a lot. I mean, my father and other father, fatherly figures have uh, influenced me in a lot of ways, so it means a lot. Father's Day is very important to me. My dad's been one of my biggest supporters. Uh, he comes to almost all my games, and I always hear him out there cheering me on, and he's definitely been a big part of my life for baseball. The Renegades have a road game Tuesday night and are back home at Vivian Field on Wednesday. More local players at the next level and the highest one at that. Jefferson City's Nafisa Collier averaging about 11 points per game in her WNBA rookie season. Another solid game for Collier. She got going early with four first quarter points. Look at this. Collier with a turnaround jumper. Nicely done. Collier scores eight points of the game, but it wasn't enough for Minnesota Lynx lose 80 to 75. Back outside for the Women's World Cup, Team USA taking on Chile. First half, Carly Lloyd with a beautiful volley as she blasts it home for the opening goal. The 2015 World Cup final hero trying to help her team win back-to-back -back World Cups. Later, it's an American corner, and Julie Ertz heads it home for a 2-0 lead. The wife of NFL player Zach Ertz, that's quite the athletic household, still in the first half. Another corner and Carly Lloyd flies in with a powerful header for her second goal. Celebrate away, ladies. USA wins 3-0 through two games. The Americans have outscored their opponents 16-0. The World Cup in France, but back here in America, the final round play of the US Open. Gary Woodland came in with a one-shot lead and he'd separate from the pack thanks to great shots like this, landing it right next to the hole. On 18, Woodland finishes in style. Look at this long birdie putt. You bet. Woodland was 13 under for the tournament, a final round 69. He was three shots better than Brooks Kepka. 
Woodland wins the U.S. Open for his first major title. The big story in the Show Me State this week has been the St. Louis Blues, who won their first Stanley Cup trophy after a convincing Game 7 victory over the Bruins. A truly historic win, especially considering that on January 3rd, St. Louis had the worst record in the NHL. So what do you do after such a huge moment? Well, celebrate, of course. A huge crowd as hundreds of thousands of people showed up in St. Louis yesterday to watch the Blues championship parade, a lot of fun for the players and the fans, an unforgettable journey for the Blues. I can't believe it. It's, I can't believe the work that these guys put in. Everyone, not just, not just the guys that went on the ice, but the front office, everyone, like it's, there's so many people that work so hard for this. I can't believe we did it. I, yeah, it still isn't sunk in. What an incredible run for the Blues and an amazing environment the last few weeks in St. Louis as the city celebrates the Blues' first Stanley Cup title. And of course, a lot of Blues fans in our own newsroom, Kermit Miller is just, I don't know, he's probably still on cloud nine. I mean, I'd imagine so. <laughs> and despite the rainy weather we're looking at this week, I said this on Wednesday, but the sun is still shining for Blues. It is, absolutely. <laughs>